Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is the second tutorial in Learn Perl by Doing It. And in this tutorial, we're going to create a simple Hello World program in Perl, which I'm then going to use as a basis for future programs. So I've got Notepad++, the free editor, open here. And I'm going to just go ahead and, and type some stuff in Perl. So the, the things that I'm going to type here are going to look a bit cryptic if you haven't seen them before. But all you have to do is kind of just get this into your head or just copy it every time you want to use it. And you can use it as a framework for future programs. So the most important thing when you start a Perl script is to have you strict at the top, followed by a semicolon like that. And what this does, we'll kind of explore later on, but basically it forces you to declare variables. And as any programmer knows, declaring variables is a great way of reducing the, the bugs, bugs in your program. And when variable declaration was introduced in programming languages a long time ago now, it was really a big step forward. So always have you strict, and it reduces your chances of misspelling a variable or a function name. Following that, we'll put use warnings semicolon. Uh, that's use warnings with an S. And this basically just gives you a more ver verbose output from your program. So you're more likely to find problems like uninitialized variables and things because you'll see a warning about it. So use straight, use warnings. And now you can go ahead and type a Perl program. But what I like to do is, rather than just typing stuff here directly, I like to have a main program, which is a clearly defined entry point for my program, because otherwise, Perl scripts of any significant size can end up being a little bit unreadable, because you read through loads of stuff that's not immediately executed, and you end up sort of having to hunt through them for the actual starting point of the program. So what I like to do is this. I type sub main and then open a curly bracket and close a curly bracket down here. And this is how you define a subroutine in Perl. And in there, I'm just going to put for a moment a print statement. I'm going to say print and in double quotes, I'm going to say hello world, exclamation mark, close the double quote and follow that by a semicolon. Now, you can either have your curly brackets like that, or you can have them like this. And actually, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to use in these tutorials. I'm going to look at Eclipse and see how that formats them by default. But uh, either way is good. And with functions, like when you, here we're calling the main function, the, uh, sorry, the print function, the print subroutine, and you can put brackets like this around the this is called um, a function argument. You can put brackets around the arguments, or Perl allows you to miss them out. And again, both techniques are good. Now, the last thing that you absolutely mustn't forget here is this defines a function, a subroutine, if you like, that's going to print hello world. But we haven't called that subroutine. We, we haven't actually told it to run. So the last thing is I'm going to type main. That's this name here. And then I need round brackets like this and a semicolon. Now the um, the choice of main as a name here is completely arbitrary. I've called it main to underline the fact that this is where the program starts from. It's like a main method in Java or C++. But you could call it absolutely anything you like. It's totally arbitrary. And now I've got that, I'm going to save it and I'm going to navigate to a folder that I've created which is in C++ tutorial Perl. Let's have a look. C tutorial Perl. Of course, you can put this wherever you want. And I'm going to call this, well, let's call it, I'll put this in this project subfolder and let's call it maybe, uh, I don't know, lesson1.pl just for the moment. I might change that later. But the important thing is that it should end in .pl because that signifies that it's a Perl script. And I click save. And now we can go ahead and run it. So I'm in Windows here actually. And I'm going to go to the start menu, type cmd, and then run this command.exe. And now I'm going to go um, to, I'll say cd space dot dot, cd space dot dot, to navigate up the directory hierarchy. And then when I've got to the root here, I'll go cd pro, I'll type pro, and then hit 
tab which auto completes and I don't want program files so I hit tab again and I keep hitting it until I get um, actually it's not it's not projects I want tutorial the tutorial folder so let's try that again here we go so I've hit tab until I got tutorial and now I hit return and now CD I want the Perl folder so I'll type P and press tab and we'll go into that folder and then finally I created a subfolder called projects so CD pro tab and there we are it's projects and if I do dir I'll see what's in this folder so there's my lesson one dot pl and now finally I can type Perl lesson one dot pl and it runs and it says hello world so that's it for this time there are other things you can do to run Perl programs there are famous the famous Perl one-liners and uh, also there's the shebang thing if you're using Unix or Linux and I'm sure we will get onto that later on, but that's all for this tutorial. This is a great basic framework for any Perl program that you want to write. So until next time, oh, and um, I'll put this code on caveofprogramming.com. And until next time, happy coding. <laughs>